While you can programmatically create two-dimensional layouts, the Mathematica front-end provides convenient tools for creating and editing two-dimensional grids of data in a way that is deeply integrated with typesetting and evaluation. This lets you enter data as you would in a spreadsheet, simplifying the cases when you need to manually enter data into Mathematica. One of the simplest ways to create a grid for data entry is to use the keyboard shortcuts for creating empty rows and empty columns. For example, in an input cell, press Control, comma to create a new column. The highlighted placeholder indicates that you can enter data into it. Pressing Control, enter creates a new row. Control, comma is the keyboard shortcut for insert, table matrix, add column, while Control and Enter is the keyboard shortcut for insert, table matrix, add row. Create a new grid by typing A11, followed by Control comma twice, and then Control Enter twice. Using Tab, the arrow keys, or your mouse, you can move from one placeholder to the next to quickly fill the grid with data. Each piece of data can be any expression, like numbers, strings, or other formatted expressions. Once you have filled out the grid, you can cut, copy, and paste any subgrid by first dragging over several elements with your mouse to select them. Select the middle column with the mouse, and then copy it. Select the same number of rows and columns elsewhere in the grid, and then paste. Since the copied selection contains the same number of rows, pasting it to the right of the original grid simply adds another column. Select the new column, and either cut or delete it to return to a three-column grid. You can also paste outside the existing grid to create a new grid consisting of just the pasted elements. Once you've entered data into a grid, you can evaluate it. Evaluating a grid will output a list of lists, which is also referred to as a matrix in Mathematica. Entering data with this method can also be used to construct arguments for Mathematica functions that require matrices as input. For example, this function gives a determinant of a square matrix. Another convenient way to create an empty grid is with the Insert Table Matrix New menu item. In the dialog that appears, enter the dimensions that you want, the setting for frames, and then click OK. Here I've created a 10 by 10 grid with all the frame lines turned on. You can also create regions in a grid that span multiple rows and columns. To turn the first row into a single element that spans the width of the grid, select the whole first row with your mouse, and then select the Insert Table Matrix Make Spanning menu item. Spanning works on subgrids as well, not just individual rows and columns. For example, select a 4x4 section of the grid and select Make Spanning to effectively turn it into a single element. You can undo this action by selecting the spanned region and then selecting Insert Table Matrix Split Spanning. For more information on inputting and creating matrices, see the how-tos Input a Matrix and Create a Matrix.